All right, folks, we need our five minutes a day still. We can't slow it down. So for today, let's grab one I haven't got in a while. Um, remember, we're gonna be holistic, right? We gotta look at the whole body. So today we're gonna do a warm up, and after the warm up, we're gonna stretch some of our upper body, focusing on our wrists, arms, back, shoulder area, okay? Because we use that when we fence too. Getting that extension can incorporate a lot. Holding your blade in a good guard can start to strain the shoulder and back area. So we gotta make sure we give ourselves some good stretching out too, and it's just another thing to add to your repertoire, okay? But a uh, good warm up always gets, um, remember, stretching is an exercise, not a warm up. So think of stretching as more like a cool down exercise. Don't think of it as a good warm up. I grew up in the, the ominous dominus, you stretch for you do everything. And I, we've learned later that stretching um, doesn't reduce injury the way we thought before a workout. It does reduce injury if you stretch after a workout or as an independent workout. Stretching is good for you, but don't think of it as the best warm-up in the world, Ominous Dominus. If it works for you, keep doing it. Stretch because you like it. That's fine. I'm not telling you not to. I'm telling you warm-up is consistent with getting a heart rate pumping and uh, blood flowing to your muscles. You know how I like to warm up. we got to get our legs moving. we got to incorporate a little sword. So, in our good on guard, right? I'm going to take a high guard so I can strain that arm good while I'm warming up. Let's get our good steps. So we know how to retreat, solid. Good job, baby. Retreat, retreat, advance, advance, advance. We know how to move, let's add a few more. Cross back, cross forward. Retreat, retreat, extend, lunge, parry, recover, advance, advance, cross back, lunge, boom. Whole motion. Parry. Recover. Lunge. Boom. Parry. Recover. Lunge. Parry. Recover. Advance. 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 Retreat. Retreat. Lunge. Parry. Recover. Advance. Retreat. Slow your lunge down. Make sure you get it right. Lunge. Boom. Parry. Recover. Cross forward. Retreat. 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 Advance. Retreat. Right of like, stepping to the right, left of like, stepping to the left, going a little fast to get your blood flowing, okay? Advance, retreat, lunge, recover, remember that parry first. Go step forward, get that advanced step. Go step back, advanced step. One more time, go step forward. Go step back, half step forward, half step back. Parry one, parry two, parry three, parry four, parry five. Parry six, parry seven, parry eight, parry nine, lunge, recover. All right, I'm warm. So now let's do a little stretch. Start with our wrists, okay? You got two arms, we gotta stretch them both equally. So first, remember, stretching is about improving your mobility, keeping your muscles safe. It's not about overstraining and hurting yourself. This is not comfortable for you in a ow that hurts way, not a ooh that stretches way. Go lighter or skip it. Okay, here we go. Using my left hand, I'm gonna twist the palm so it places up till I feel that stretch in my wrist. You know, I hold every stretch about eight seconds. You can do more, you can do less, but eight seconds is a good start, okay? All right. Other hand, same way, twisting my palm up. See how my pinky goes to the sky, and then my thumb is trying to match it. I just hold that a minute. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing in reverse. I'm gonna grab by this meaty part of my thumb, and I'm gonna twist it out. The more you can get this arm straight, you tell them, Rips. The more you'll feel that stretch when you come up here, you won't get it as much. You want to come out. Give a second. Other hand. Give that stretch.
Hmm? Like Elfrida. I'm going to do that. Yeah? Okay. Oops. Now we're going to lace our fingers together. We're going to point them up over our heads and straighten our backs and reach for the sky with our palms. This will stretch your back. This will stretch your arms. It's a good one. Now we're going to point our hands forward. And this is an important note. I'm going to lean forward and get my ears next to my biceps. Really reach for that uh, wall. You'll feel that in your back too, hopefully. I'm helping Daddy. And again, trich, yeah. the trick to stretching, stretching. you got to hold them a second. Okay, now we're going to lace our fingers behind us. And we're going to try to put our palms together. Not everyone can do this. If you can, it's better, right? If you're here, that's fine. And you're going to push your arms down and back. That gets that shoulder going, too. Ooh, I feel that. Three, two, one. Hey, traditional tricep stretches. They're good. They always work. Left arm. Over across. Now, common mistake is you come up here so it's like under your chin. Relax the shoulder so it goes down. And pull it. Do you want to Feel that stretch. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go get the tea bowl and then we're going to go plant seeds outside. Okay? Let me go get the tea bowl. Another good plan is about three deep breaths. It's a good amount of time to stretch on it. Stay here because it wiggles heavy. Oh, they're arm. I can't carry you on the tea bowl, okay? Uh, get that good stretch. And remember, not up here. Let it drop. Let it drop. Now, before we do our other, our other traditional tricep stretch, we're going to do one more. Lace your hands up over your head and lean to one side. So you can feel that stretch down your side. You gotta get your feet more apart for this to make it comfortable. That's fine. I like them together. It gives me more of a stretch. Back to center. Other side. Now you can do arms like this. That works too. You don't have to lace them for this one. It just lets me pull my arm a little more. Get a little more stretch out of it. You can also grab your hand and pull it. That's a pretty good one. Okay. Now, one arm behind. You're going to pull it down until you're comfortable, right? Farther down you go, the better. But if you're, if you're like, if that's enough for you, that's enough for you. You go where you're comfortable. Don't dislocate something trying to get, keep yourself safe. That's the opposite of what we're trying to do. Both arms up, switch. This is what we call static stretching, where you hold one position to get a stretch. And again, think of static stretching as additional exercise. You can do ballistic stretching to get a little bit more of a warm-up kind of stretch. I'll show you some of those real quick because they're the easiest ones to do. Ah, okay, still not good. Now, an example of ballistic stretch is a hugger, right? Where you let your arms swing back, swing forward. This adds enough blood pump. It can count as a warm-up. But we're going to use this cool down today because I want to get that chest stretched and a little bit of that bicep stretched as we come back. All right. Okay, there's one more I really like. It's good for the arms. We're going to go into a pot stirs. So you get wide. Double shoulder width where you're in like a forward bend. And you're gonna get to where you're in flat back, and then you're gonna take one arm and you gotta relax it. Relax the arm in front of you and you stir the pot. Right? Let it go around. And you wanna make sure you're going one direction. Like right now, I'm going counterclockwise. I'm in winter shins. Now the opposite way, clockwise, right? Stir that pot the other way. Really let it relax. You really start to feel your arm stretch when you do that. All right, other arm. Still going clockwise. And other way. Just a few. 
few more. And I like the touch. Now, a trick with any time you bend over is you don't want to come up fast. But we want to, in particularly, help our back. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring my feet a little closer together. And I'm going to bend my knees just a little bit. And I'm going to slowly roll up. Slow, 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 slow. Don't go fast in this one. It's a back stretch if you go nice and slow. But it doesn't feel right for me to not come up at the end. Oh, get that wide stretch. That's good for the chest. Let's do two more. Up. Wide stretch. Scrape the back of the walls with your elbows. One more. And get the backs of the walls. There's one more I forgot that we can do. We'll just do a couple because, again, good for the arms. Is swimmers, right? Where you do these circles like this. There's other ways to do this one. I like this one. I feel it real good in my rotator cuff right there. <sighs> now, a way to make this even more is that you do the uh, golfer's grip, right? And you point them forward and you do that rotation. Really gets that cuff warmed up. Now, thumbs back and we go backwards, right? There's other ways to do this one, but this one makes me feel it the most. See if it helps you too. Try to keep that palm up, that thumb back. You'll feel that stretch down your arm and that warm up in the back. All right, guys. Uh, hopefully that uh, helps you out, keeps your sword arms fit, ready to do more. Uh, leave comments if there's anything you want me to focus on, and I'll see you guys soon. Put it back on my chair.